You have two choices. The easy way or the hard way. All right, Sam, we'll take it the easy way. We all know doing things the hard way on the SAT means a lot of writing and a lot of calculating. Make things easier on yourself. Yeah, you're right, Sam. Let's do that for problem number nine here. So in this question, they give us the equations of two lines. One of them, they tell us the slope of one line and a point it hits. And the second line, they just tell us two points that it goes through. And they want to know if the two lines intersect at point AB, what is the value of A plus B? So I'd say the hard way to do this problem is to figure out the equations of both lines. You know, y equals mx plus b, y equals mx plus b, find the slopes, set them equal. Too much work. You're going to think like a seventh grader on this question, okay? So we're literally just going to draw a graph. And I'll put some points in there, and I'll go up to about eight, okay? And I'll go this way a couple, and I'll do this way a couple. And now we're just going to actually graph this, like I said, think like a seventh grader, and find the points of intersection. So this one hits points 1, 2, 1, 2, and 2, 1, 2, 1. So what's our slope there? We go down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1. We'll go the opposite way, left 1, up 1, left 1, up 1. All right, so there's one line. doesn't have to be perfect, but I got my points in. Now the second one hits the point, or really the first one, at 1, 8. So let's put that in. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, cool. 1, 8. And the slope is 2, but I'm not going to go up. I'm going to go back. So if the slope is 2, rise 2 over 1, I'm going to go down 2, left 1. And let's do it again. Down 2, left 1. All right, look at that. We already found our point of intersection. Our lines didn't even have to be perfect. So what is that point right there? That's negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 1, 4. And when you add them together, right, A plus B, negative 1 plus 4 is 3. You're done. Thank you.